Welcome to the channel, Excellence. Where we strive for excellence. We strive to be one better than what we were yesterday. Why? Because we are going to be the best we can be. And be all we can be. Uh, now, in this universe, it's a time and a place for everything. It's for the chosen ones to stand up and take your place. You have made or, or are going through the great transformation. See, you're going through a transformation, transisting into something else. See, once you transist into something else, see, this is, this is what took place in me. When I took that leap of faith and I said, hey, I'm not going to go with man. Flesh and bones, I'm going to follow my spirit, the spirit of God, this still small voice that speaks within. See, once you start following that voice, you have no desire to give a damn about what other people think about you. See, a lot of people go around and date people and talk to people, worrying about how other people are gonna feel about them. See, once you are able to drop all the bullshit, see, when the, when, when, when the smiling stop, the bullshit drop. See, stop all that smiling in people's faces, high signing and grandstanding, trying to fit in or trying to make a friend. Or trying to be accepted somewhere where you would never be accepted. See, pay attention to what goes on in your environment and pay attention to it well. Life is a game of chess. But always stay three or four moves ahead of your opponent. Especially when they think they're moving on you. See, when they think they're moving on you, you know you about four, five, six, seven steps ahead of them. And your soldiers are in place. See, life is always a battle. You're going to put your soldiers in place in your mind by using your thoughts, your thinking, reasoning, willing, or your understanding. But you are going to defend yourself and have a defense mechanism with inside of yourself. Learn your transformation. Learn how to transform into greatness. See, those who are those who going through that transition, see a transitional person. <clears throat> Excuse me. A transitional person is a person that has the ability to show their transitions to the world. And as you transition in front of the world, you are leading by example. The world will change around you. See, you don't have to change the world. A lot of times, all you have to do is change yourself. And the world around you will change. See, if you quit accepting certain things into your circle. See, that's why in Mason Tree, they had that 33 and a third. And then that break. And then that 33 and a third, and then that break. See, them gate, them breaks is doorways and gateways to come in to find your balance in life. See, the key to life is to keep the pendulum balanced so you don't fall off. See, if you fall off, then you will meet death. Death is easy to meet. If you are not transitioning into anything. See, I'm going to take you back to the Egyptian times. See, the Egyptians tried this before. And God said, do not store your riches on earth. Store your riches in heaven. But the Egyptians tried it. See, they eliminated all of God's thoughts and went with man and mine into the land of flesh things and try to accomplish all the gold and the fleshly things and everything that, that they could see. 
did not know that heaven, hell, and pa heaven and paradise exist in a in a in a state of imagination. See, once you the Egyptians tried to get all the gold, what they do? They passed away and buried the gold with them. But see, when you stop looking for the eternal work to do, to seek for eternal life, and all you are seeking for is riches, then death comes upon you. Because you're no longer living for the spirit. See, you can become so rich with the material things around you on this plane of things may manifest that you would just forget all about your spirit and do nothing that your spirit wants you to do and just stand up within yourself and boast and think you controlling everything. But you have to let the spirit guide your every moment. If you are guided by the spirit you are making a transition. And in making your transition, you are being transitional, Bo, by leading by example, and the ones behind you can't help but follow them footprints that's clearly cut. Because man know the truth. Because man is truth and falsehood is strangely mixed. But when man stand up within himself, and demonstrate who he is. Get out of your head worrying about what other people think. About the girl you dating. About the car you driving. About the house you living in. Or anything. Remember, those things are only going on in their head. I'm afraid of being afraid of what people going to think. Damn what they going to think. They going to think it anyway. I'm afraid not to do something because of what people going to think. I don't give a damn what you think. You have to take that up with your personal self. And your personal salvation. Because man seeks salvation on his own. And man's salvation cannot be shared by none. And no man, and I mean no man, can lead another man to his own salvation. Because man's salvation is that ladder reaching from the heart of man to the heart of God. And it has three steps. Belief is first. And this is what man thinks perhaps is true. Faith is next. And this is what man know is true. But fruition is last. And this is man himself the truth. When man has stood up in his self. And has reached the ethic life. And, that, and is at one with everything that is, was, and evermore will be. And see everything as a part of him. Everything in this universe is nothing but vibrating energy. Everything, every living thing is bound by cord to every other living thing. Blessed are the pure at heart. They learn to love and not demand love in return. They don't do to people what they don't want people to do to them. See, they understand their selves. And they stand up within their greatness with themselves. Now the hellions out there, the ones that cannot get them demons under control, them demonic spirits that's going through their head, that's demonstrating the naught and getting them to go against the spirit, against their own spirit and kill their own spirit until they're buried in the dirt by doing the dirt that they done. See, when you throw dirt on another person, you taking the dirt off of your seed and cultivating that other seed to grow and guarantee your seed is gonna die. Because if ain't no dirt on it, when it rain, it'll flood and it'll drown it. You would get root rot and all that. See, a lot of y'all is just rotting from the roots. And the roots is your family tree. 
You just rotten from the people you grew up around and your upbringing and your raising. Your parents were some evil, angry, demonic, spirited ass people. And you learned a lot of shit from being around those people. But you got to learn to cut that shit off. At some point in your life, you got to learn to elevate and rise to your highest heights and live for your soul purpose and the purpose that you was brought to this universe for. Not to demonstrate none of the bullshit that nobody else have in their mind. I don't give a damn about nothing that goes on in nobody's head. I don't care what's going on in your head. Because, see, I can show you what can go on in mine. See, I'm an author, governor, creator, almighty, internal, and incomprehensible. The greatest creation of all that can create all life and create all death. It's a time and place for everything under the sun. Stand up in your greatness. And demonstrate who you are. I come to all of y'all in love. I leave y'all in peace. Have a blessed day. I'm out.